In this video, you will learn about database flags, its use cases and how to configure them for Google Cloud SQL. Are you wondering what database flags are? Database flags are configuration options that enable you to customize the behavior of your Google Cloud SQL database. They are used for many operations including adjusting MySQL parameters, options, configuring and tuning MySQL, PostSQL and SQL Server instances. Database flags can be really useful in multiple scenarios. Here are a few common use cases. One, they are useful for diagnosing specific problems. For example, MySQL's slow query log can be enabled to help spot performance problem. Two, in some cases, database flags are useful for resolving specific issues with the database. For example, you can increase max connection settings to allow more concurrent connections. Three, they can be used to enable event scheduler for MySQL instance to schedule tasks at regular intervals. For example, you can manage the scheduling and the execution of events using event scheduler. To configure database flags, you must have Cloud SQL editor role, which has the required permissions to access and modify all the Cloud SQL resources including database flags. Database flags can be configured for a Cloud SQL instance when creating an instance or for an existing instance by editing the configuration anytime. You can configure them using Google Cloud Console, CLI, or SQL API. Remember, the database flags cannot be configured using MySQL client. Today, I will show how to configure database flags for a MySQL instance using Google Cloud Console. Let's get started by looking at an example use case, slow query logging. The MySQL slow query logging can be used to find queries that take a long time to execute. By default, it is disabled to save storage, but you can enable it when you need to find slow queries in your database. It logs SQL statements that take more than long query time seconds, which is 10 seconds by default. Let's get into action and configure flag slow query log at the time of creating a MySQL instance. Go to Cloud SQL instance page click create instance on the choose your database engine panel choose mysql give an id to the instance i'm giving mysql instance set a password for the root user select the database version for your instance remember the database version cannot be edited after the instance has been created choose the region and the zone where you would like to create the instance you can customize the settings for your instance as per your needs in the customize your instance section. I will retain the default settings for all except flags, expand flags and click add flag, search for slow query log and select it, choose on for value and click done, create instance. Congratulations, MySQL instance is created with the database flag slow query log enabled. Now, let's look at another commonly used database flag, max connections. This is a system variable that controls the maximum number of clients that can be served concurrently by a MySQL server instance. It is set with a default value of 4K for most machine types. If more clients attempt to connect to MySQL server and reached the default limit, the clients will get the error, too many connections. As all available connections are in use by another client. To resolve this error, you can increase the value of max connection to a suitable value on your MySQL server instance. Maximum allowed value is 100K. Let's now increase the max connection values to the MySQL instance that we just created. Go back to the Cloud SQL instance page, open the instance MySQL instance and click edit. Scroll down to the flag section and click 
add flag, search for max connection, set an appropriate value 5k, click save to save your changes, confirm your changes under flags on the overview page. For more details about configuring database flags and supported flags, check out the following documents. Thanks for watching. Thank you.